What's up? It's Chom Tom coming back at you live for another Chom Tom restaurant review. Partly cloudy and it's raining. Not the best of weather out here in Charlotte, North Carolina, but I was in the mood for some soul food. You know, fried chicken, pork chops, some beans, creams, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rice. You name it! <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Was doing some research online, I found a soul food restaurant that is voted number one in Charlotte. Now, this right here's a side note. I've had the worst experience with restaurants that is voted number one, because honestly, a lot of these restaurants shouldn't even be ranked. But however, I'm optimistic about this restaurant, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Today's restaurant review comes from, yep, Nana Morrison Soul Food. Actually, just to kind of give y'all a better view. Yep, drove two hours here just to see why you guys are voted number one. First plate, we got we got a big plate here, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, this plate was $29.99 and it includes two pieces of meat, white or dark, cornbread, collard greens, mac and cheese, and some other pork chop. That's the plate right there. Not sure why they didn't put this in two different plates, but whatever. First, we're we'll going to be trying the uh, fried chicken. That's the fried chicken right there. You ain't never seen fried chicken. Here's what it looks like. Yeah, I mean, really ain't too much to say about this. Just fried chicken. Yo! Oh my god. Sorry, y'all. I just damn chicken under the seat. It, it caught me off guard. All right. If there's any kids watching this video, close your eyes and close your ears, all right? I want to know who in the f thought it was okay to put a bunch of of salt on this goddamn on chicken, man. I mean, this chicken is salty as hell. Like, what are you trying to do to us? You trying to kill us? Or you just don't know what the hell you're doing? Woo! That really caught me off guard. Yeah, th this, this, okay, so let me just describe what I just tasted. This is fried chicken. The crunch game is okay, but it is salty. I don't, I'm just confused. Why, why would you make chicken this damn salty. Oh, hell no. Nah. So I'm giving the chicken a two. I mean, straight up. Okay, not the quiet experience that I was expecting starting out. I'm still a little bit optimistic now. Let's try the uh, some other pork chops, shall we? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Pork chops are nice and tender falling off the bone. I have a problem with the pork chops. One, because they just taste like they were just thrown in the gravy. Two, the gravy has no type of love, no type of flavor, no type of soul, no type of energy. Whoever made this gravy just said, F it. For real. Like, because the pork chop is just sitting here and neither one has flavor, right? And I'm very surprised that this is made like this coming from a soul food restaurant. It was definitely no soul made up in this right here. This right here shouldn't even be called gravy. This right here should just be called water it's no type of taste of this so yeah you know with the pork chop fall off the bone good as far as taste and seasoning and the gravy absolutely not good so i'm gonna go ahead and give the pork chop some gravy a four all right cool so we're gonna try these greens right here now the greens i'm very optimistic about because the greens smell really good but i'm almost wanting to guess that the greens are a little bit better because they are pretty strong mmm way too bitter Woo! man oh my god the greens have a crazy amount of potential right whatever they marinated in not sure what type of flavor that is maybe vinegar i'm not sure whatever it's marinated in it's just too damn much when you bite into it initially it's gonna be good but then it's gonna drop kick you in the back of your throat because it's just way too bitter and so i would definitely buy this again for sure they just gotta tone down on the ingredients i'm gonna give the greens a seven because the greens are pretty good despite it just being too damn bitter mac and cheese so off the top the mac and cheese has some little burn pieces in there yeah looks like somebody uh Overcooked the mac and cheese. Just wanna show you guys how that mac and cheese look right there. Looks like it's hurting. Yeah, um, just started eating mac and cheese here recently. So um, let's just see if this gives me uh, another pleasurable experience. I don't know, let me, let me, let me. Mm. Okay, okay. Mac and cheese, 
not bad. The only thing I say about the mac and cheese is it does have a nasty aftertaste and it's only because I can tell that it's overcooked. There's a lot of burnt pieces on um, there's like a lot of burnt noodles that is sitting here in this here uh, mac and cheese. What the hell is this? I want y'all to see this right here, man. This is some fucking nasty shit. This is what y'all serving y'all customers nanas, huh? Huh? Looks like the freaking mac and cheese is holding on for dear life. I mean, this is just, this is gross. Man, oh man. What a time that we've had so far. All right, so now we got right here, we got the catfish plate. So the catfish plate comes with, of course, catfish, two sides, and a cornbread or roll. Look at the butt on that catfish right there. Man, this right here, man. Woo, this, this, this right here looks good now. Mmm. This side. It's okay. Very juicy. Crunch game is on point. I think what they did with the catfish, though, what it seems like they did, they fried the catfish first and then try to go back in and put the season on it. Doesn't work like that. And if you did do that, you did not put enough. I can taste the season a little bit, but it definitely isn't a strong factor. But, you know, just to give you credit, you definitely fried this thing right. I mean, you fried this thing perfect. And it does taste like it's fresh fish as well. So the catfish, man, it was juicy, not seasoned all the way good. I gotta give it a seven. We gonna try the rice next, man. Let's see how this rice tastes right here. Mm. So the rice, um, I don't like the rice because it just seems like the rice was just made without no sugar, without no butter, without no nothing. And that's kind of that's kind of weird, man. Again, coming from a soul food restaurant, that's that's really uh that's really disappointing. Rice is by far probably one of the easiest things to cook and all you're leaving out is just butter. That to me is just pure laziness. I mean, you know, I don't understand how you could, cause there's nothing on this right. No matter what you say, there's nothing on this right. Plain rice and water. Yeah, you guys are definitely getting away with a lot here, man. Y'all gotta start, uh, y'all gotta do better. So yeah, I think I'm gonna close the box on that note and um, we're gonna jump into the experience. So when I went in this restaurant, I really couldn't put a time on it as to when they brought my food out to me because the food was right there, like buffet style. What I did like about this restaurant is, of course, it's black owned for one. The menu is easy to read and it's very well laid out and it's not disorganized. So you guys did a great job on it. A couple things I don't like about this restaurant is, of course, some of the food could be seasoned a lot more. And also your staff just seems dead. Like they just seem like they're just zoned out. They weren't rude, but they weren't helpful either. It's like when you ask them what's good and what they prefer. Uh, you know, our bourbon chicken is really good. It's like when you ask a question, how good the food is and some of the fan favorites, like not making eye contact or nothing, just in the freaking zone. If you guys watching this video, you might want to change that around a little bit, maybe? Also, for those that choose to go to this restaurant, be very, very, very careful. I almost walked in there and slipped and bust my like it's really slippery in there. I'm not sure if it's the floor. I'm not sure if it's like that on a daily basis or what. If you do not watch yourself, you will bust your <laughs> Also, this restaurant has a 95.5 sanitation score. I know I didn't take a picture of it. Just take my word for it. I promise you it's a 95.5. Would I personally come back to this restaurant? Um, Absolutely, I think I would definitely come back. This restaurant is not a bad restaurant. It's just lacking a lot of flavor like it's just lacking the small thing the small thing leads to big things then next thing you know boom everything's going out of port so yeah i mean i would definitely come back if you're in the charlotte north carolina area greensboro high point wherever you are in north carolina wherever you are watching this video i suggest you come out here and experience nana soul food for yourself this restaurant has a bunch of items and i'm pretty sure i may have just probably called them on a bad day or maybe i got the wrong dishes but i'm pretty sure something in there is good please go check this soul food restaurant out in charlotte north carolina restaurant owners we are recovering from a pandemic if you want me to come and do a review at your restaurant hit me up on Facebook at Chime Time or hit me up on Facebook at Mr. Chime Time. To all my fans out there, I love you guys so much. Keep supporting me. Be blessed and I'm out of here. Peace.